We'll take a closer look at the GSG STG 44 22 long rifle as we talked about during the shooting portion. The rifle actually has decent weight to it. I don't believe it's as heavy as the originals. I have had the opportunity to hold and shoot an original STG 44 and I highly recommend it if you ever get the chance. This is, it's a replica. Yeah, I think they retail for around $400 so you know what you're getting. But if you're, if you're a 22 shooter and just want to have some fun at the range, this is definitely a good rifle to do it. It can be finicky on different types of ammunition and especially if it gets dirty. It likes to be a uh, clean rifle. And here's Grace, our range dog. It has wooden stock, wooden grips, the dust cover, reminiscent of other modern rifles. And when you charge it, it pops open over the ejection port. Magazines are 25 round box and there's a load assist lever on the side, which is pretty useful given the small size of 22 cartridges. Loads like most any other into the mag well. And let's see if we can get it to drop free. When I first got it, it, it wouldn't drop. You had to actually manually take the magazines out of the well. So the magazine release lever is over here on this side. And sure enough, it drops free. The sling is a K98 sling. It's a replica reproduction sling I had laying around just so I can throw it across my shoulder. One of the other things, there's provision for a cleaning kit on the top of the stock. I'm not going to take it down in this video, but there's a pin here, it slides out, stock comes off, and you turn down the trigger housing, and the spring assembly will come out. And be very careful because it'll come flying out if, you, if you're not watching it. Safety is this lever here, so it's up for safe or up for fire and down for safe. There is no piston inside the rifle and this may be a metal outer shell on top of the barrel itself. I haven't taken it all the way down or looked at the exploded diagram in a while to know if that's true or not, so I may be wrong on that one. Anyway, if you like shooting 22s and you like replicas of old period guns, this might be one for you. We appreciate you watching. If you like what we're doing, give us a subscribe and a thumbs up. One thing I want to cover, the site. It is adjustable for elevation and windage on this rear sight. Now, I've never really messed around with the sights, it's, I'm not shooting at any extreme distances with it, but it's always hit fairly well on a piece of steel or a piece of paper. Great steel shooting gun. Anyway, thank you again. Hope you'll check us out.